Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. So glad to have you all with us. My name is Greer Gillis. I'm the Deputy Director for the District Department of Transportation, also known as DDOT. And you know what? Today is such a beautiful day. It's a hot day, but it is a beautiful day. And we all have come together to celebrate the opening of the DC Circulators National Mall Route. For a project like this to come to fruition, it took a strong partnership of a lot of stakeholders and a lot of people. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone. First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge our mayor, the mayor of the District of Columbia, Mayor Muriel Bowser. She has made improving and diversifying our district's transportation options as a significant part of her administration. And we thank you for your support. Also, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. Congresswoman, thank you for being a supporter of the circulator system and for tirelessly championing and advocating for the residents of the District of Columbia. Thank you. We could not have done this without the National Park Service. To the Regional Director, Bob Vogel. He's with our National Capital Region and also Acting Superintendent of the National Mall and Memorial Parks, Ms. Karen Cucarulo and your team. Thank you very much for your support. We also want to thank the DC Surface Transit, Ellen Jones, Bill Bradley, and your team, without whom none of this would have been possible. Thank you very much. And then we've always received report, support from the council, but in particular, we would like to thank Councilwoman Mary Che of Ward 3 for all of your support with our transportation infrastructure, and council member of Ward 2, Jack Evans. Thank you both for your tireless efforts. As you look around the district, you can see that it's exciting times for us in the transportation market. Under Mayor Bowser's leadership, we are making sure that we have safe and efficient travel for everyone. It's a key component of livability and economic viability for this city. And this route, this new mall route, will further enhance those options that will be available to our district residents, to our tourists, to our employees, to our commuters. Since we launched the Circulator 10 years ago, the Circulator's strong brand attributes and guiding service principles have remained intact. It's a very distinctive, comfortable red bus, frequent and reliable service, 10-minute headways, it's connectivity to key activity centers around the city. It's easy to understand routes. And yes, it's still only $1 to ride. $1. But you know, the current network is really a culmination of several route expansions and changes since the system began in 2005. And so we are proud today to be here to introduce our new route, our sixth route to be exact, here on the National Mall. With the circulator, we hope that it will continue to bring neighborhoods and communities together across the district, connecting jobs to people and people to businesses, creating a pathway to the middle class. And that's a significant role of the Bowser administration and a role that we at DDOT take seriously. One thing I would like to add about these new circulator buses are that they are new and we're keeping up with the technology. These buses will actually have USB charge ports under every seat so that you can charge your iPhone while you're riding on the bus. And the buses will have Wi-Fi so then you can surf on your iPhone or your tablet while you're riding on the bus. We are keeping up with the technology as it advances for all of you. So as I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of supporters here for the DC Circulator. And we want to take the opportunity to have them come up and speak and give their remarks. First is Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton. We applaud the Congresswoman for her stalwart fight and for all things pertaining to the district. And with that, Congresswoman Norton.
Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Bowser. Uh, thank you particularly for the partnership with DDOT, uh, council, uh, 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 council Member Jack Evans, Council Member Mary Che, and uh, I'm going to, in honor of those at the Park Service, has asked to come to sit in the sun to, to, to listen to a bunch of speeches. I'm going to shorten my remarks tremendously, and I'm going to ask that, that the umbrella be put over the head of the man that Marion Barry called the whitest man in the District of Columbia, Jack Evans. <laughs> Cover Jack Evans up, would you please? <laughs> look, the mall is look. The mall is one of my priorities. I'm to be this circulator means that maybe we'll get rid of some of those those gas guzzling tour buses that are ruining the view uh, and, 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 uh, and, and, and ruining our pollution. Uh, I hope that the circulator will start, stop at DC, uh, DC's lunchtime music on the mall, which we are co-sponsoring uh, with the park service. There's a smart ride uh, to get on this rider. And the smartest thing we can do is to shut up now. Thank you. Thank you, Congresswoman. Our next speaker needs no introduction at all. Our mayor of the District of Columbia, Muriel Bowser. Well, good, uh, good morning, everybody, and I'm going to be quick, too. This is a wonderful occasion uh, to celebrate a great partnership between the District of Columbia and the National Park Service, which isn't always easy to make these connections, um, to take care of all the red tape and the moving of this and the moving of that, to wake, make way um, what's important for not only the residents of the District of Columbia, but the millions of Americans and travelers that come to the District of Columbia to take advantage of their national mall. And we're very proud of this. I, I have a little uh, deja vu here because I spent so much time in this place and then that kiosk when it used to be run by Tourmobile. Uh, a lot of people won't, don't know this, but I worked many summers on the Tourmobile uh, around this route and around uh, over that bridge to Arlington Cemetery. Uh, so I I know how important it is for people when they visit here to have an affordable ride uh, to see their national monuments. And now they will have an affordable ride on the DC circulator. And so that's very good news. I too want to uh, thank uh, the council members for their support. This is not an inexpensive endeavor. Uh, investing in these buses, keeping up with the maintenance, buying down the ride so it's just one dollar which is actually less um, than our metro bus is very important uh, we know we can attract the people attract people to transit when it's simple so 10 minute headways one dollar and it goes in a loop uh, so you can't get lost uh, and so that way we'll get people um, on our circulator in out of uh, single occupant vehicles uh, out of more expensive ways so this is indeed a way to keep more money uh, in the pockets of DC residents who will use it um, but also our visitors from around the country so we want to send this message to Congress that we the District of Columbia are supporting our national agenda and the visitors that come from all of us by investing uh, in these new buses so I want to be uh, very thankful to all of you um, and to DDOT and NPS for finding a way to work together Jack I think we're going to have another partnership to announce with the NPS and then another one after that so thank you very much uh, Congresswoman Norton uh, for always working hand in hand with us on keeping a mayor America's lawn looking good. Uh, and now we've added yet another amenity. So Greer, we're going to get on with the program. You want to join me back up? So let's move on. Our next speaker will be the National Park Service National Capital Regional Director, Bob Vogel. Bob.
Thank you for that nice introduction. You know, this is a very exciting day. It is a little warm out, but it is nonetheless very exciting to me. And this is an exciting day for residents and visitors alike. And, and truly, what a wonderful example of the federal and district governments working together to accomplish something very, very important. Mayor Bowser, thank you for your very enthusiastic support of the circulator on the mall and as you are alluding to this is just one example of where we are committed to working together to improve the quality of life in the district and representative norton it's always a pleasure to have you in the parks even on a hot day and we appreciate all of your encouragement and support and i also want to acknowledge council members evans and che and thanks to ddot and DC Surface Transits, our partners in bringing the circulator to the National Mall. Thank you for sharing your vision and for your spirit of cooperation that makes today's launch a reality. And I certainly want to recognize Acting Superintendent Karen Cucurulo. And I have a special thanks for Eliza Voigt of the National Mall Memorial staff who endured, I know for me alone, about 6,000 phone calls about the circulator and, and your passion and drive and hard work has led us to where we are today. Um, next year marks the 100th anniversary of the establishment of the National Park Service and to celebrate we are encouraging everyone to find their park with more than 25 monuments, museums, and points of interest located along its 15 stops the circulator is the perfect way to find your park right here along the National Mall. For over 25 million annual visitors and DC residents alike, this new route is convenient, reliable, low cost way to take a monumental journey around our nation's most treasured memorials. And we worked together to make sure that the circulator route connects easily to other forms of transportation so that riders from other parts of the city can easily get to the National Mall and just as importantly our visitors to the mall can easily connect to wonderful restaurants, shops, and attractions throughout the district. The National Park Service has made a commitment to go green as we prepare for our centennial and the circulator not only helps us accomplish that goal by taking visitors' vehicles off the mall's congested roads, but the hybrid vehicles help reduce our carbon footprint and showcase the value of renewable energy. The circulator is about convenience for our visitors and residents. It's about quality of life by reducing traffic on the mall. It's about preserving our environment by reducing fossil fuel consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. And that is why the DC Circulator's National Mall Route is important to the National Park Service and the District of Columbia and I congratulate and thank every one of you who helped to play a part in making today's launch possible. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next we'll hear from our Ward 3 Councilwoman Mary Che. Good morning, everybody. This this is whoa. Thank you. This is Ward Two, and so Jack Evans is the council member from Ward Two, and we'll hear from him next. But I'm, I want to explain why they even have me here. I'm the chair of the transportation committee on the council. Um, this uh, circulator route and the plans for it have been in place for a very long time and I'm glad to see it finally come to fruition because it's going to be an extraordinary element of connecting uh, the mall with Union Station, with restaurants, with businesses, with other parts of the district and what we know as a fact in the District of Columbia and it's represented by the temperature today, the District of Columbia is hot. It's hot, okay? People want to come here and they come here in droves, not only to live here and work here, but also to visit here. In fact, although it's the opposite uh, adjective, we're the coolest city in the nation. We are. And so identified by major uh, publications. So what we want is we want this element added. We know that transportation is the lifeblood. This form of transportation is extraordinary. 
It's uh, convenient. It's inexpensive. You can get your Smart Trip card. You can travel to all of these spots. You can pay one dollar, and it replaces what used to be this tour mobile that apparently the mayor used to work on, which was twenty-seven dollars. Now you make the comparison uh, yourself, and it's uh, uh, it reliable. The headways are very short. So this is a great boon uh, to the District of Columbia. I want to thank the uh, the federal government, uh, Congresswoman Norton, the the National Park Service, and of course uh, our own Department of Transportation uh, and uh, the uh, the council itself, because this uh, adds a vital part of what we want the city to be, namely a city that moves. And by the way, while I want everyone to take this, don't forsake bike share. Thank you very much. <laughs> Councilwoman, you'll be happy to know there is a bike share directly across from this stop right here. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, our council member from Ward 2, Jack Evans. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And good afternoon, everybody. What a great day it is to be here. I want to thank our congresswoman, our mayor, councilman, and everyone else who needs to be thanked. Thank you for being here. You know, I remember the, the very first meeting we had on this uh, myself. Abe Lincoln, before he was in there, we all got together here to plan the circulator. And it actually was a long time ago. Where's Rich Bradley? I saw him riding in on his bike over here. There he is. He was at the first meeting with Joe Sternley, myself. And you'll never believe it. The route we planned at the very first meeting was that route, that route. So it's taken 10 years. The circulator's been running all over the place, but we never got that route in place. So I'm really thrilled to be here today to put in place the route that was planned 10 years ago at the inaugural meeting. It's a great idea. Everyone, there's an old saying in, uh, in speaking, when you're the last speaker, it's all been said, but not by me. So it's all been said. Thank you all. And let's cut the ribbon. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're good. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. 